This Sunday, of course, is St. Patrick's Day and preparations from local businesses and law enforcement are already underway across the low country with a busy weekend of celebrations expected along King Street. That's where we find news to Walker Simmons, who's talked about preparing for the holiday weekend with a lot of people visiting. Walker, what can we expect? Hey, Carolyn, well, here on King Street tonight, it already seems like those St. Patrick's Day celebrations are getting a little bit of a head start as we're seeing some large crowds here. And as we look to this weekend with the St. Patrick's Day events in store, those crowds only expected to grow both here on King and throughout the downtown area. A Friday night on King Street is already seeing St. Patrick's Day festivities as a weekend of events like two St. Patrick's Day parades happening downtown with multiple bar crawls all set to take place this weekend. And as those prepare for an enjoyable weekend, Charleston Police Department says they're also making sure everyone stays safe. The biggest part here is to stress that to have fun responsibly. So you're going to see a more deliberate police presence. And what that means is that everything uh, at that happens in the central business district, especially around King Street, has and will continue to be a public safety priority. And Charleston Police Department says officers will be spread throughout the area this weekend, patrolling on foot, bike, and even horse to ensure safety. And Sergeant Anthony Gibson says they will focus on the roads as well. Um, if you're out enjoying and you're starting to drink or you think that you may drink, a ride share is going to be the key. Our traffic unit is going to be out there. And we're specifically looking for impaired drivers because we're trying to stop them before someone gets seriously hurt or a collision occurs. Along with having a presence on the roads, Charleston police are also continuing to crack down on underage drinking this weekend. The bar goers, the restaurant goers, the visitors, the residents, and just making sure that they understand the collaborative nature of how to actually report if they suspect somebody is using a fake ID or if they're underage drinking. It's establishing that communication that it is in fact two way and that it is more than just a law enforcement centric response. It takes everybody's effort to make sure that it maintains safety. And with all these St. Patrick Day events happening here downtown, including the parade, there's also some road closures you're going to want to keep in mind. So I'll send it back into studio with those details. But for now, live in downtown Charleston, Walker Simmons, count on two.